Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shweta and in today's video, we're going to talk about automation workflows in MailerLite. If you're just getting started with MailerLite, you can find a link in the description box to sign up for a free account. I also have an end-to-end -end longer tutorial around how you can get started with MailerLite. If you're specifically looking for the automation workflows, how you can set that, set that up, and map it out so that you're ready to go into MailerLite and start building out those automations, this is the right video for you. For more such videos on marketing tech tutorials and platform reviews, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into it. Before we start building the automation workflow in MailerLite, I wanted to show you a process I use to map out workflows or sequences, whether it's about emails or funnels, which is really useful when you, you know, want to just take this and map it or implement it inside the platform. So this tool uh, that I'm using right now, it's called Funnelytics. I do have a tutorial on this. I can share a link below. But what I do is I just map out the different steps of the workflow that I want to implement in MailerLite or any other platform. So here I've mapped out a part of it. So there's going to be a website form. Uh, that's going to uh, ask them to sign up for free for a resume template. Once they sign up, they're going to get that first email where I will deliver the resume template. And then I want to wait for the day and then send them a second email, which is going to be about the LinkedIn profile. And here my call to action is I want to get them to book a call with me. Now, after this happens, uh, there are two things that could happen. They could either open the email, but do not book a call. So if they do not click in the email or they just don't open the email, if they open the email and don't book a call, I want to wait another day and send them a case study again with a link to book a call with me. And then if they do not open, I want to resend this email to. Now, again, this is just a part of how this works, but I just wanted you to know this is my process of mapping out a funnel or an email funnel or an email workflow. And this really helps me understand what is the goal of each email and what are the steps I want them to take depending on what action they're taking. So if they're taking a certain action, I want them to, I want to send them a different email. If they say, taking a different action, I want to resend an email. So all of these things are really helpful to look at visually before we go into MailerLite and start setting up the workflow. So now that we've done this, we are going to go inside MailerLite and create our workflow. In our MailerLite dashboard to create the automation workflow, I'm going to click on automation. And here I'm going to click on new automation. And then I want to name this automation resume template. And then I also like to uh, add what call to action I'm looking to get out of this automation. I'm going to click on start building. The first thing you want to do is set a trigger. So when does this automation start? What should happen for this automation to begin? So my trigger is going to be when they sign up for a form. You could also use when the subscriber joins a group. If you want to send it to like a, a list of subscribers in a particular group, I'm just going to use the form for now. And then I'll select the form which is the free resume template. I've already created the form in MailerLite. And then I'm going to save. And then with this plus sign, I'm going to add the next action. So based on my funnel here, the first thing I want to do is send out the email. So I'm going to choose email here. And the name of this email, again, if you want to keep things really consistent, you could match it to the name you've added here. This is an internal name, so it doesn't matter what you call it. I'll just say resume template delivery. And then subject is could be here is the template you requested. Apologies for the spelling errors, just typing really fast. And then you could also add personalization. So I could just say name comma so then this would read shweta here is the template you requested this is going to be your name or your brand's name i could just say 
shweta and then this is my email address and then here is where you'll design the email so when you click on design an email you'll have an option to choose an editor i'm just going to go with the drag and drop editor that's the easiest to use you could also use a template option uh, you could also edit this email here and choose to save this as a template so that you can use the same template for future um, future emails so for example if you were adding your logo here and you were adding like other branding options uh, as the footer towards the bottom like helpful links or it, or stuff you could save that email as a template and in the future you could start creating the email by choosing this template so you don't have to start from scratch and add your logo and all the branding things uh, from scratch every time so edit the email here again uh, really easy to do just add, click edit you have this dashboard come up here you could change the heading uh, add a link if you want to have the header as a link option you could add images here you could also completely remove the block here uh, there are other block options that you could add if you want to add a navigation to your email i generally don't recommend that but again for some e-commerce brands it makes sense so you can do all of that here and then when you're done click on done editing so that is the first email that's going to go out. Of course, for me, it's the resume template delivery. So I want to make sure that I have a link for them to download the resume. Once that's done, you want to hit save. And then after this, I see here that I want to add a wait period. So I'm going to click on the plus sign, add a delay. And then here I'm going to add one day. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to send email to. So again, I'm going to choose email name this email too and again i could just use the names i've used in my funnel visual graph uh, and use those names here subject line could be anything linkedin profile secrets or whatever like this is just an example i'm not a career coach and this is not what i do so this is just an example for the purpose of this video uh design email again click on it uh, create your email this is where you can when you save your email as a template this is where it's going to show up under the template gallery you could also look at it under recent emails but i haven't sent any emails uh, but this is the one i just created when i chose automations uh, so you know like here when they don't open the email and i want to say send the same email again i could instead of creating that email again i could come here to recent emails and choose that and we'll do that in the next step but uh, for now i'll just start from scratch create that second email here uh, and click done and then that's ready that's my second email that's going to be the linkedin profile um, and then once that is done, I again want to wait for one day because I want to give them time to open the email and book a call. After one day, if they don't take that action, I want to add a condition here. Now with the condition, uh, if they satisfy the condition, they are going to be in the green. They're going to go down the green path. If they don't satisfy the condition, they're going to go down the red path. So the condition is uh, I'm choosing workflow activity because the opens and all are part of this workflow. And then I'm choosing this email too. So in email two, if they opened the email but did not click the link, so if this condition is true, so they opened this email too, but did not click the, click the ring, they will go down the green path because whatever your condition is, if that condition equals true, it goes down the green path. So now if they did not uh, click the link, I want to send them email three. So I'm going to create email three here. Um, and then of course you can design it and then if they not open i want to send them the email to again so i'm going to choose email uh, and i can name this email to resend resend uh, not resend <laughs> and then when i click on design email i can go to recent emails and choose the email to under automations 
I can choose this email too, which is like the LinkedIn one. And then I could make any changes if I wanted to. If not, I'll just hit done editing. So this is basically how you can map out your workflow first so that it's easier to, you know, just come come into the platform, come into MailerLite, go to automation and start building it out. Um, again, so let's say if uh, let's say someone clicked on the link in the email after this email. So if that happens and I want to add them to a group where I have a group called book, book a call or I want to add a custom field on that subscriber, you could do that using action. So under action, you let, uh, so you could do that using action, but for that we need a, but for that first we need a condition. So let's say uh, I'll add a condition here where in this particular email, which is email three, uh, I haven't created it yet, so it's not showing up. So that's how you can create workflows in MailerLite. Again, there's there's also an option called action where you could add or remove uh, subscribers from a particular group. Uh, you could mark them as unsubscribed. You could move them to another step or you could also update a custom profile. This is how a general, you know, very basic workflow looks like in MailerLite. And it is a great first step for you to start setting up automated emails that go out automatically in your sleep so that you can start booking those calls. You can start selling your products, services directly through automated emails. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for being here. For more such videos on marketing tech tutorials and platform reviews, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.